Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be showing you how to add mods to Minecraft 1.17.1 on PC. Mods like Bombs of Plenty, mods like Gravestone, mods like Spark, mods like Just Enough Items, mods like World Edit, they can all be added using Forge in Minecraft 1.17.1. Once they're updated, not all those mods are updated, but let's say give it you know a month after this video comes out, most of those mods, if not all of them, should be updated. In this video specifically, we're going to be looking at Bombs of Plenty, Greystone and Spark, but all mods are installed the same way in 1.17.1. Now, first things first, you will need Forge. Now, this video right here says 1.16.5, but by the time you get to it, it will be updated to 1.17.1. So just know that. However, you will need Forge installed and running for this to work. In order to add mods to Minecraft 1.17.1, you need Forge installed. So go watch our Forge tutorial. Go through the one on our website. It's the second link down below, and it will show you exactly how to get Forge, everything you need to know. Then come back to this video. We're going to download, install mods, all of that stuff. First of all, though, before we download and install mods, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We actually haven't just Apex so much, so we'll start our own server, play our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into adding mods. Now again, once you've got Forge, you must have Forge installed for this tutorial to work. So if you don't have Forge, go to installed. We can move on to mods. Now in the description down below, we have three mods linked. We have Bombs of Plenty. We have a Gravestone and we have Spark. These are all Forge compatible. There's two major mod loaders, Forge and Fabric. In this video, we're showing you how to install Forge mods. We do have a link at the at the top of your screen on how to install Fabric mods if you want to use those. 90% of mods use Forge though, including huge ones like Bombs of Plenty, Just to find them, support Edit, things like that. And thus, let's go ahead and first off install or download Bombs of Plenty. To do that, you want to go to the third link down below that's going to take you here, where you want to scroll down and click on the yellow Download Bombs of Plenty button. This is the official Bombs of Plenty download page, where you want to come over here to the right hand side, find Minecraft 1.17. Find Bombs of Plenty 1.17 under and click on the orange download button to the right of that. The download is then going to begin after a few seconds. This is going to be a similar process for all mods. Most mods are hosted on this website here. This is Curse Forge. That's where you're going to be able to find most mods. Most mods are also going to need to be kept in the bottom right. As you can see, Bombs of Plenty does need to be kept down there. I promise it's 100% safe though. You may have to save it in the super screen on Mozilla Firefox. For the Gravestone mod, the process is the same. You're going to scroll down, click on Download Gravestone. It's going to take you here, where you will come over here to the right hand side, scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.17. Find the 1.17.1 version under it and click on the orange download button to the right of that. Again, it's going to take a few seconds and the download will begin. So obviously, these are pretty self-explanatory. Bombs of Plenty adds in more biomes. Gravestone adds in gravestones. When you die in Minecraft, you can go back to your gravestone, get your items back, all that stuff. We will need to keep gravestones in the bottom left when it's downloaded. But Spark isn't as self-explanatory. What this is, though, is a mod that basically allows you to kind of see different information about your CPU, about your memory, different things like that with it. Now, this is specifically meant for Minecraft servers for the most part, but it will work in single player. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and come over here to the right hand side, scroll down again until we see Minecraft 1.17, and the reason I wanted to include Spark is it has two versions. It has a Forge version and a Fabric version. If you're going through this tutorial, and you've installed Forge using this tutorial, then you're going to want to get the Forge version of the mod. So that's going to be Forge 1.17.1, the one towards the top here. Clicking the orange download button to the right of that, it's going to again go ahead and start the download again after a few seconds. But again, you want to make sure you're always downloading the Forge version if there's a for Forge and a Fabric version of a mod. So we're going to go ahead and keep in the bottom left, Spark-Forge. Again, you might have to save it in your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Now, finally, if we minimize our browser here on our desktop, we do have Bombs of Plenty, we have Gravestone, and we have Spark, right? All those are on our desktop. If he's on your desktop, they're going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icon. It's the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. But click on that little Windows icon on the top bottom left of your screen. Type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder here. Click on that. And then in here, you'll find Bombs of Plenty, Gravestone, and Spark, or any other mods you want to install, and drag those to your desktop for ease of use. Now we want to go ahead and open up Minecraft. Now I'm going to go through the entire process of getting a Forge profile set up because you should already have one. In my case, that's going to be a custom one named play.breakdowncraft.com. Why is that? Because that's our awesome 1.17.1 grief protected Minecraft server. You absolutely love it. Medieval survival, 30 custom quests, player based economy, 1.17.1, aquatic survival, awesome slash shop based economy, and incredible community over there. So nevertheless, play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. So come there, check that out. You may have the Forge one though. Either way, it's going to work as long as it says 1.17.1 dash Forge under it when you click play you're going to be able to open it up with Forge. Now, because I don't have the best PC, I'll tell you why after a jump cut. I have to jump cut here on Minecraft's opening. I don't love that, but it is what it is. So we'll see you after a very quick jump cut. So there we go. Minecraft is open up with Forge. You can see we do have Forge in the bottom left down there. So we know Forge is there. We also have this Mods tab. And actually from the Minecraft main menu, that's what we want to click on. We want to click on this Mods tab here. Once you've clicked on that Mods tab, it's going to open up the Mods section. Then you want to click on Open Mods folder in the bottom left. Again, from the Minecraft main menu, click on Mods, and then click on Open Mods 
folder in the bottom left. That's then, of course, going to open up our mods folder, where then we want to install the mods. To do that, you want to take and drag and drop any mods you want to install from your desktop into your mods folder. In our case, that is Bombs of Plenty, Gravestone, and Spark. Now, if you come back to Minecraft, these aren't going to be here, and they're never going to be here until you click on Done, and then quit the game. Now, we then want to open up the Minecraft launcher again and kind of repeat that process. We want to make sure we're opening Minecraft with the Forge version. So, 1.17.1-Forge should be down here, kind of to the left of the play button and under the bolded text there. You should see 1.17.1-Forge there. Go ahead and click play. Minecraft 1.17.1 is going to open up with Forge yet again, but this time the mods we installed, Bombs of Plenty, Gravestones, and Spark will all be installed as well, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want. Now, I am going to do this live again, and there may be some different sort of like weird choppiness in my voice. If there is, I apologize for that, but I want to kind of do this as live as I possibly can uh, because, uh, well, I just want to prove that there's no trickery here, right? There's no trickery whatsoever. Now, you may get some freezing and different pausing while this is opening. That's 100% normal, so don't worry about that. It's just kind of part of the Forge process and the modern Minecraft process. It's going to take it a second to open up, and that is okay. So, we're just kind of sitting here waiting while it does that. Now, you might have even seen there the start button actually went back. Like this, this bar at the bottom actually went back and then went forward. That was really weird. I've never seen that go back and then forward, but that is what it is. And that is possible with Forge. So here we are on the Forge menu. Now, one thing I will say again one more time is that if the reason that we have issues when starting up is because my PC just isn't good enough to record and open a Minecraft and do all this stuff at the same time. We have a new PC on the way, but parts are back ordered months at this point, so we are waiting on those. Hopefully they will get here sooner, but the sooner we get them, we will be able to get a new PC together, and that issue will stop. So subscribe to the channel, and those issues will eventually stop in our awesome tutorials here. So nevertheless, once we're here though on the main menu, we can click on the Mods tab, and this is a quick way to confirm you have mods installed. So we have Spark there, we have Bombs of Plenty, and we have Gravestone. All of our mods are installed and working. So now let's go ahead though and create a new world. This is going to be our Forge mods world and this is going to be uh, a creative world because that's the easiest way to do this cheats are on all right now i'm going to go ahead do a quick jump cut i will meet you once we're in game actually i want to show you this as well it does say worlds using experimental settings are not supported basically bombs of plenty adds in different you know setups and things like that adds in a different biome setup that's an experimental world and experimental settings meaning it's not necessarily supported by the game like mojang can't guarantee it's going to be bug free is what they're saying that's okay we all know that mods their bugs for mods are not bugs Mojang can fix. They're bugs that the mod creator can fix. So, yeah. Go ahead and click proceed there. We're all good. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let this world get started on up. And then once it is started all up, I will show you that everything is working on the mods and stuff. And we'll be good. That's the tutorial. All right. So, here we are in Minecraft. First things first. Right here at our spawn, we are going to fly up into the air. We're going to load our inventory full of stuff. And then we're going to fall to our death. Uh, a little morbid, I know. But that is what is going to uh, basically prove that we, in fact, are good to go and that we uh, are you know actually in a modded or not modded world but the gravestones is working so now we're going to go ahead and do game mode survival go forward a few blocks and boom there we go but a gravestone most importantly was uh, dropped at our death location which i think is going to be right there yes so there it is and we can go ahead and click with that and see our you know username or id there our name overworld where our when we died and what our location was now if we click next we can also see everything we had on our person when we died which is really really cool as well so now to get this i believe we can go ahead and just break it and boom everything in it is now in our inventory by the way if you want to make a graveyard or something you can use a silk touch pick break that and you'll be able to pick up the gravestone so cool stuff there that mod is working now spark is uh kind of similar as well you just do spark and there's tons of different stuff for example spark profile and then dash dash start i believe is going to work uh yes yeah, so spark profile is now active we'll go ahead and leave that running and then i'll show you spark here at the end but first we need to show you bombs of plenty to do that we're going to go ahead and hit oh, excuse me i keep misclicking we're going to go ahead and hit f3 is it f3 there we go f3 and we're going to whoa go back into creative and I'm going to show you some biomes of plenty biomes. One by just going over them, because as you can see, as we go through these different biomes, we will see right here, biomes of plenty biomes will start appearing, but also because I'm uh, just showing you them on screen because they're they're pretty cool. So as you can see, biomes of plenty, and this is a clover patch grassland. As you can see, an awesome clover petal has been added in here. So we can go ahead and, for example, we could, I think, break the stem of that. Is that going to be, was that going to work? Oh, no. Okay. That's kind of weird how that works. But nevertheless, you can see those are custom blocks. We can actually also go in here and see all the different custom blocks Bombs of Plenty adds in. It's a lot of them. If you're a builder, by the way, and you want to build in survival and be able to find your world or find stuff, really, really cool way to do it is Bombs of Plenty. We do have this custom biome here as well. This is going to be a Bombs of Plenty orchard. And, uh... I think you might actually be able to... Some of these trees might actually have fruit on them. I don't know. Uh, what was that? Is that going to be some fruit? No. I 
Can't get that lucky, can we? Nevertheless, we also have another Bombs of Plenty biome over here. This is a Highland biome. One of my favorites, actually, because you get these huge divots right through it if you have a river. Different cool stuff, and again, one of my favorite Bombs of Plenty biomes here. They're everywhere, and I think, by the way, someone should totally build, like, a really cool build on, like, a Highland biome. Just saying. But nevertheless, we also have, this is a cool one as well, a seasonal forest, where you almost have a fall effect through this forest here. And, um, you know, you can build in here, you can use these blocks, actually get these blocks, use them elsewhere. For example, if you wanted to make a red tree, you could do that and make that red tree and another biome if you wanted. Um, and then we also have another biome that I really like, which is the evergreen biome. And this is a snowy biome that is going to have these huge evergreen trees that are just absolutely beautiful and stunning and overwhelming. I mean, we're, we're flying through here and it, it's, it's not too bad, but look at that. I mean, that's massive trees there and uh, really, really cool stuff. Also provide quite a bit of shade. So these are cool biomes to, uh, to build in as well. So there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Let's go ahead and stop Spark real quick. So we're going to do Spark Profiler dash dash stop. And that's actually going to give us a link, which we will then open. And I'll basically show you all the different stuff that's running in Minecraft. This is a great way if you're having different lag issues, you can't figure out what it is. You have a decent computer. This is a great way to actually be able to uh, to show this. So let's go ahead, open up Spark here, and we will be able to see the profiler. We can actually go down through here and show you all of the different, you know, lag issues, all the different things that are using resources. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean it's lagging, right? But it does mean it's using resources. So one of the things that is using the most resources for us right now is is actually going to be the entity tick list, which is no surprise. It's going to be all the different entities in Minecraft. Another one's probably going to be chunks as well. Yes, there's a chunk cache. The reason I know that is because we're loading a lot of new chunks at this point. So there you have it. It's a good way to go down through here and kind of break all this down and see where everything is, what everything is happening, and all of that stuff. But nevertheless, thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Enjoy your awesome 1.17.1 mods. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I'm out. Peace.